Hey guys, it's Ryan, the Amazon and eBay guru. And today I'm going to show you how I made $30,000 in the last seven days. And as you can see right here, it is Canadian dollars. So for those of you in the United States, let's quickly change this to US dollars. And when it's US dollars, it goes to $23,446.47. I know that's cut off. As you can see, Amazon.com was 14,000 US in the last seven days. And then .ca was 8,600. And in Mexico was 439. So I'm gonna switch these numbers back to Canadian. And yeah, as you can see, 18,000 in the US, uh, 11,000 in Canada, and 573 in Mexico. And over the last 30 days, as I want to be as transparent as possible with you guys, I have done $109,826.56, and that was from 664 units. So as you can see, it's been a pretty good month for me the, the last 30 days, and as we get closer and closer to Q4, these numbers are going to really continue to jump. I've been buying inventory non-stop, so the more inventory I buy, the more sales I'm able to make. I just made, the last few days, I've made some $10,000 purchases and even a $15,000 purchase of toys, and so I'm really ramping up for Q4 coming down the line and going to invest as much money as I possibly can into uh, several key categories going into Q4, which are going to be uh, toys, electronics, and home and kitchen. That Those are the only three categories I'm really going to focus on going into Q4 because typically those are the best three sellers for me at least, and that's what I like to focus on going into Q4. Uh, as you can see, in the last seven days, I've had a hundred orders that were fulfilled by Amazon and 62 orders that were seller fulfilled. So I'm really, really trying my best to get everything to Amazon so I don't have to constantly be packing and shipping because it is time consuming and when you're using FBA, you can make a lot more money and you don't have to use as much time because you can make a lot more sales. People with Prime memberships like to buy items that are Prime two day shipping kind of thing. And so that's why having the items at the Amazon warehouse is very helpful. But yeah, so this last week has been really good sales, mainly because like I said, I've been buying a lot and then sending it in. It'll come here or I'll send it to my prep center, depending if it's going to Canada or the United States. I generally do most of the packing and shipping items to the FBA warehouses in Canada just because it's easy for me to do. Whereas the US, I even though I live close to the border, it's a hassle to take stuff across. So that's where I use my prep company for items that I purchase in Canada. And then for items that I purchase in the United States, they stay in the United States. So they go to a prep center in the United States and then they are prepared there and sent to FBA warehouses there. So uh, mainly at the beginning of this year, I was only purchasing items from Canada to send to the United States, but now I've really ramped up and I'm purchasing items within the United States, which is great because what I was running into was I wasn't able to send enough stuff across because you have an $800 per day limit of what you can send across. So I was using two different prep companies in Canada and they were backed up for like 100 days each because they can only take... $800 per day and so they had like boxes set up that they're gonna take okay they're gonna take this one day then they're gonna take this one day because I sell a lot of higher value toys and stuff like that so it doesn't take much to get to that 800 and so in that case I was running into the problem where I couldn't get enough stuff across the border so I was like what would be the best way to get as much inventory as possible to Amazon without having to deal with the $800 per day limit. And that was ramping up and purchasing within the United States. And like I've talked about in many other videos, this is all through online arbitrage. So I find all my products from using tactical arbitrage. So if you guys have not signed up for tactical arbitrage and you wanna to get to this point one day, then you guys have to give the 10 day trial for only $1 a try. 
I'll put the link in the description below and all you have to do is use the coupon code Amazon and eBay guru and you can give that a try for yourself and see if you guys can get to these numbers. I hope you exceed these numbers. Amazon continues to grow so the opportunity is there and you just have to find the products and now that you can run 10 searches at once with top tactical arbitrage there is no excuse for not purchasing inventory and having it sent into Amazon FBA because there's definitely money to be made. The couple strategies that I've used is I've sent items in and put them at a higher price and I sell through the global shipping program uh, basically where it Amazon FBA in the United States will ship all over the world for me and with that program I've noticed that I can put items even a hundred dollars more than what Amazon would sell it for and if Amazon doesn't ship to one of those countries then those customers will buy from me so that's been a great way for me to not even worry about what my price is and just send the stuff in put the price at what I want to make a profit off of so say I want to make fifty dollars per unit on a higher value item then I'll put it at that and if it sells it sells if it doesn't in Q4 it definitely will so that's the nice thing coming up to Q4 we have to also keep in mind that Amazon will be doing their checks to ensure that you're eligible to sell the, in the toys category so make sure you guys read into that because that is super important and I love that at this time of year because it will actually take a lot of sellers out and it gives me less competition going into Q4 for the toys category so I really do like that but I don't want you guys to get stuck with not being able to sell toys so make sure you look into that there is eligibility requirements so make sure you check into those and yeah we're co coming up really close to Q4 and it's going to be I think it's going to be the best Q4 in terms of Amazon's total sales because that's what happened with their Prime Day. They had an insane Prime Day, so I think even with after that, the Q4 is bound to be bigger than that. So it should be a fun Q4, and I'm really looking forward to it. So I hope this has shown you guys the potential of where you can get to with your businesses and how you can make up to like $30,000 in one week. So pretty neat and I just wanted to be transparent with you guys and show you guys where I was kind of at right now and I hope this video helped. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more. Thanks for watching guys.